In this video, we are going to see how to create journal codes in Sash Accounting 100. Before we record any transaction in any journal, we will have to create the journal code, the, the, the type of journal code uh, for us to record any transaction. If these journal codes are not created, we will not have the possibility to record any transaction so to create the journal code in search accounting 100 you come to structure and you take journal codes in the dialog box that appear either you press ctrl j or you right click and add new element and you will see the different journal types which you have to select before you create so as we can see there are five different types of journals uh, type we can create we have purchase sales cash general position we are going to create each of the types individually given that we can create as many as possible we can we're going to start with the purchase so i'm going to create a journal code for purchase meaning where we are going to have uh, where we are going to record all the purchases the purchases of the organization of the organization so at the level of um, the code i will just put any code then i will write purchase purchase journal execute cost breakdown for this journal we can say yes and we take next uh, from here we allow these options the way it is then we take next and you will realize that the purchase journal has been created we get to the sales journal we'll just put any code then I will say sales, sales journal. I take yes, and I'll allow the options the way it is. I take next. We get to the cash journal. Now, this is one of the most critical type of journal we are going to create. This cash is for treasury that is where the, the journal code for cash and for bank treasury in general meaning uh, all our cash transactions will be recorded in which journal all our bank transactions is going to be recorded in which journal so in this case if you have many banks you are going to create a journal code for each of the banks so that when there is any transaction the transaction will be done in the journal code of that particular bank so it is equally this journal type that we are going to choose in order to create a cash journal for any transaction which is being done in cash we will record it in the cash journal so let's start for example with cash I'm going to create a cash the cash journal I think next then the next option they're going to give us the cash account meaning this cash journal I'm creating which general account will be carrying that uh, journal code so it is the account which is going to function in this journal code for cash I was creating the cash journal you must have already created the account number in the chart of account the account number for cash so I've created already the account number for cash I have here cash in hand and this will be the general account I'm going to use to carry this journal code remember to create the the, the, the account this account number you have to go to structure at the level of uh, 
chart of accounts and create one should in case you have not yet created it here so from here we are going to take the first option for contra entries uh, for payment recorded um, we are going to allow this first option ticked and um, indicate matching account we are going to take cash account and uh, we take next they will ask or they will tell us that the cash account is not a bank or cash type use account so we are going to accept it and from here we validate with next so you have seen the cash account has been created so we are going to create the bank account still with the journal type cash i have many banks uh, this company has many banks she's dealing with and it is important that you create different journal codes for the different banks so i'll have here uh, bank i'll have the uba bank UBA bank journal. I will take X. Then from here, I will choose the bank account, the account number in the chart of accounts I created for this particular bank. I take the first option, last option here, next. I validate, next. So that was it for the bank journal. If you have another bank, it is important you create a different journal code for the other bank account. So we we'll get to a general journal. This general journal is going to record uh, all the expenses which are not directly related to purchases and sales. So we're going to create a general journal which is very important and uh, for this type of journal you can equally create uh, the journal the journal code for the journal code for um, uh, end of year adjustment for end of year works because with the search accounting 100 at the end of the accounting period you have to close the year and uh, there is a journal code this is a journal where all the end of year adjustment are going to be recorded so aside creating the general journal which will record other expenses and other transactions it is equally very important to create another journal type general which you can call end of year operations so from here we take next it's just simple like purchase and sales next so you could equally create the end of year works with the general uh, journal type now the next one is position the position is for the balance sheet the balance sheet shows the financial situation of an organization as at a particular time so the position of the organization is the balance sheet this is the journal code for balance sheet generally for the opening balance sheet of the company so you will create a journal code balance sheet And we take next meaning this is a journal where we're going to create up uh, insert our opening balances of the company so we take next next basically those are the journal types we have and uh, it is based on this journal codes that we created that we will be able to record transactions in search accounting 100 in the uh, following videos will be seen how uh, this journal code is going to affect the entire work in this accounting software 
slash 100.